Steve. Oh, hey, hey, whoa. Forgot all about this, huh? Hmm. Yep, all right. Well, let's begin. Welcome to the Skella Steve channel. I'm your host, Skella Steve. What's up, everybody? So, today, it's, mm, talking head vlogging, not a motor vlog, is a helmet review of my da -da -da -da, Scorpion Covert X helmet. So it's about, this is a one year review. I've had this helmet for not exactly a year, but it's been about a year. So I uh, figured I'd do it now since I can't ride. And normally I don't do gear reviews because I've had the same gear for forever. <laughs> so I'm not a really big gear guy. I mean, I wear gear, but to me it's a necessary evil. So let's, uh, let's talk about this helmet. So I'm gonna talk about the functions of this helmet, why I bought this helmet, and what else was I, oh, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and what do I think of Scorpion as a brand? So, let's begin. So, the function of this helmet, it's not a, it's considered as an open face, so I guess like a half or three quarter. On their website, Scorpion has under the open face category for their helmets. It is considered a multifunction helmet, so it's not a modular helmet because it doesn't, this part doesn't flip up like a modular helmet. So, like I said, it goes from what looks like a full face helmet and it can go to three quarter mode after that and then it'll go to half mode. So I'll show you what it looks like three quarter right now. This is full face right here, full face, even though it won't do the job as a full face if you get into an accident. So pull this right here and lift this visor up. I always have such a pain in the ass time with this. So yeah, there's these two buttons on the side right here on each side. So let's click one button, pull it. This is the more of the pain in the ass one. No, oh, actually wasn't too bad. There you go. So that's what it looks like in three quarter. I'm not gonna do half mode. Half mode's a pain in the ass. So this is like this red tab in the back here. All you do is like pull it down and then you gotta like unhook it because it's got hooks on the side here on both sides, these metal hooks. I don't feel like doing that right now, so whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So yeah, that's the function. This is the second generation. There was the first one that was just called a Covert. Truck and Biker actually did a review of his. He's had his for about two years now. He's got the regular Covert helmet. And I gotta say, this is definitely an improvement from that one because his chin piece, even though this still doesn't protect you from a crash, this chin piece, was like rubber it looked like because he was like folding it in his hand like this and this you can't it's more hard plastic and here's a picture of what the half helmet looks and the half helmet mode looks a lot better than the previous generation so they did a good job on that so why did i buy this helmet i bought this helmet to be able to switch out different variations of modes because i always ride with either full i either have a full face or half helmet my full face is you know when it's colder out, when it's raining, I wear it. Half helmet, I was, during the middle of summer, I'd wear half helmet. Even though you should be wearing a full face to cover your whole noggin, that's what I did. But I figured just to buy one helmet, save me money and have it do everything. Now, I didn't. I never thought I liked three quarters, so that's why I didn't go with the modular, but after riding with this and then knowing that it was a pain in the ass to go to half, I just got used to a three quarter style helmet, so now, I don't mind three quarter helmets. I used to thought they're eh, ugly, but whatever. But I bought this helmet. It looked it looked great, and I tried it on, and I thought it was that was a pretty good helmet. So that's and also too because of the so this is another this is a silly reason, but I don't care. I always had this mask. I always had this mask before I was riding. Before I was doing YouTube, I always wore this mask when I was riding. So. I figured to get something that would, you know, go good with my camera setup and this and this mask where I'm still able to wear this mask without any, you know, any interruptions and I thought this was good. So I'll show you right now because I'll show you what I look like in all three modes. So here's what I look like in full face. Here's what I look like in in uh, three quarters with the mask on. So it actually, it worked out pretty good. Plus, you know, when I used to ride with like a half helmet when I wore the mask. I had, see this back here? That's what the mask has. 
So I didn't have to wear this when I have this on. I can just like take it off and kind of like fix it in there and it stayed. It, it did a pretty good job. So that's why I bought the helmet. I, I'll be honest, you know, it was for the mask somewhat. I just didn't want to sit there and buy half and a full face helmet. I'd just rather have all in one. So now I'm gonna talk about what I like and what I don't like about this. What I like about this helmet is that it's stylish. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I, yeah, I think it looks good. It's comfortable. Like the cheek pads are in there are pretty good. And also it's, they got the, the setup in here where you can put your Bluetooth piece in there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's, it's comfortable in there. It feels great. It fits great too. Uh, I also think it's made out of good for being like, I'd say more, this is a half helmet, but for being for a half helmet, it is built pretty good. I mean, it's, it's DOT certified number two. This is the FMVSS number 218. I don't know what that means, but yeah, so it's DOT certified. So good material, looks great, comfortable, and that's what I like about it. Now, what I don't like about it is that I think they could have done a lot more. I think they could have made this helmet a uh, like fully protect your head. I think they can still do it. I mean, they've upgraded since the last generation, but I think they can do a lot more. Uh, for one, like I said, this chin part does not protect you. You'll see it right there. Yeah, and they'll they'll say it there too. So at least they let you know. I don't even think the three quarter can do a good protection job. So yeah, I I think I think it's a I think it, it does a good job protection wise with with being half helmet. But like I said, I think they can they can definitely approve, uh, upgrade if they upgrade the styling, how the half helmet looks and how this chin part is, I think they can they can get it next time. But I don't know if they're gonna make it in the next generation. I don't know if they are or not. Another thing I don't like is, so we're gonna talk about the chin, right? Mm, what is it? That's basically really it I don't like about it. Well, I have to have more of a list of things I don't like about this helmet. I mean, well, this chin part too, cause like when I, when I bought, when I tried this helmet on, this was kind of like really up on my nose. So I thought, I was like, oh, that's pretty weird, but I guess it's fine. I mean, I mean, look, the mask is up against my nose. This one is, but this one, for some reason, it was pretty close. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but mainly it is like just, it's kind of, it is kind of a pain in the ass to disassemble. That's another thing too. But other than that, wind noise, wind noise is kind of rough, but it's not, it's not a full face helmet. It's, you know, it's an open face helmet, so the wind noise on this is pretty bad, you know, but it's it's good for being where it's at. That's that's how I'll describe it. That makes sense, I guess not. But people have complained about the wind noise on it, but it's not a full face helmet. This was wind noise for say like a like like a showy helmet, like showy's top of the line full face helmet, then yeah, then that's pretty bad. But this right here is, is good, it's decent. So that is basically it on that one. Like I said, I've I've came from this. This was my last helmet. And this is what this helmet's supposed to compete with. The Bell Rogue helmets. That's what this helmet's competing with. This one has the dog ears. I've had it since 17. I mean, it's been, it's been rough. I used to drop the shit out of my helmets and I stopped doing that. This one has some scuff marks and that's because I left it in the backseat of my car and it banged on a few things and uh, uh, I can't have anything nice. I'm irresponsible. Can't take me anywhere, really. But like I said, this one has been through some rough life. I you know I decided to finally get, to, to retire. Like I said, I just dropped it on the ground accidentally a couple times, like, like it slipped out of my hand or something, or multitasking when I shouldn't. But like I said, yeah, it's it's definitely improving for my last helmet. And like I said, this is not a modular helmet. It's more to compete with like the Bell Rogues helmet. And like I said, I was gonna talk about Scorpion as a whole brand. I like Scorpion. My first helmet was a Scorpion. And here it is right here. I bought this back in 14 when I first started riding. It's uh it's been it's been through a lot, you know. Finally, like these bag vents fell off. I mean, I put this thing through hell. I'm gonna be honest, I put this thing through a lot of hell and it served its purpose. It was, it was to me, it was pretty comfortable. I, I, I got enjoyment out of using this helmet. 
And like I said, I'm not a big full face helmet guy, but I, I wore it when, like I said, when it was cold outside, raining, just, that's when I put this helmet on. So, yeah, I, I do like Scorpion. Like, then this one was Snell approved too, it's DOT Snell approved. So, this was definitely a built quality helmet. And it was cool how I got this helmet because I got burnt on my first, my, the first helmet I tried to buy online, I got burnt on it. But then, like when I returned that helmet back, I went to a local Honda dealership and they had this sitting on the, where the helmets are at and it was in the clearance section because it was an obsolete model, but, because they just obsolete this one, I believe it was, or something like that, or maybe they didn't want to carry it anymore and it was the last one, but it was, there was no scratches on it, no dents, nothing. It was in prime condition. It was in great condition and it was my size and they had it for a really good deal. So I, and I talked it down to damn near their price too, how much they bought the helmet for. So I got a pretty good deal on this helmet and it's served me well. And if I would have gone down, I believe this helmet would have done its job 100%. And like I said, I just, I feel like Scorpion could be my next helmet. I'll have this helmet for a couple more years, you know, but I feel like my next helmet could be a Scorpion. Like I said, Scorpion's a good brand. I have a couple other motor vlogging buddies that have Scorpion, like I mentioned, truck and biker, even though he's not too fond of his covert helmet that he has, but he said he's done with it. He's had it for a few years. He said that he's going to buy another Scorpion helmet, so he's going to stick with Scorpion. Uh, Salty from Salty and Sprinkles has a Scorpion helmet, and, a, and Harley Fatboy Jr. has a Scorpion helmet. And another motor vlogging buddy of mine, Code Gray, has one too. And Code Gray actually what was cool about well, it sucked, but what was cool though at the same time was that he had a problem with his helmet and he actually reached out to Scorpion's uh, customer service and they told him to send the helmet back and they'll they'll send out two helmets for him, one one like sizes next to each other. So they're gonna let him run a helmet out and they're gonna try to find out what's wrong with his helmet. They're gonna have the quality team work on it. I believe that's what it was, but that's pretty cool for Scorpion to do that customer service to reach out to him to, to actually go above and beyond for one of their consumers. Most products don't even, once you buy it, it doesn't matter what happens. <laughs> it's your problem, you know, but they actually went above and beyond. And I think that's pretty cool. And that, that's, that's pretty awesome. And I'll actually post that video below, you know, I, like I said, good guy, good, a good company, but I don't know for sure. I'm, I probably will go with them next time around. All right, guys, that's all I got to say about this helmet. You know, like I said, uh, I think next one will be a modular. I'll probably go more with that route unless they can get this to be better built quality. I mean, like I said, they improved from the last one, but I, I believe it will be my next helmet as a Scorpion, maybe a modular, whatever. Anyway, let me know what you think of this helmet review. Uh, what do you think of this if you guys have it? Uh, and what helmet do you guys have and what product do you stand by? All right, guys, that's where I'm going to cut it. Make sure you guys like this video, comment, uh, share it, subscribe, and when you subscribe, don't forget to ring that guardian bell. All right, guys, it was fun as always, kind of. <laughs> Skeletal Steve, out.